Let me ask you a question. How well do you do with spiders? You know, if you walk into a room and you see a big spider walking across the floor, what's your reaction? Are you a scream and runner? Are you a grab a broom and hitter? Are you a put it in your hand and carry it outside er? Well done. What happens when we react to things like that out of fear? We often quickly solve the problem. Do we apply that same reasoning to sin in our life? Let's talk about that as we meet in the upper room. Our devotional for the day is entitled, Overcoming Sin, for Friday, October 2nd, 2020. Our scripture reading is Romans chapter 8, verses 5 through 14. Our verse for the day is, If you live according to the flesh, you will die. But if you live by the Spirit, you put to death the misdeeds of the body. You will live. Our thought for the day is this, with God's help, I can overcome my sin. Maybe you don't know where to find today's scripture lesson or devotion. Log on to upperroom.org devotions. On that page, you'll see a link that clicks you to today's devotion. If you're looking at this at a different date, just simply put the date for today's devotional in the search engine and you'll be able to find it quickly. Go ahead. Pause. We'll wait for you. Well, the author of today's devotional focuses our mind on the scripture verse of the day. This idea that if we live by the Spirit, we'll put to death the things that aren't of God. Very quickly. I don't know about you, but in my house, I'm the resident insect killer. Apparently, that changed over time. I didn't have that role before I was married, but in my new role, if there is an insect, usually there's a cup over top of that insect and I am called to come and destroy such nasty beast. And maybe you're the caller out of the insect. Perhaps you are the conqueror like me who destroys such vile creatures. What happens if we dealt with sin the same way? The author's devotional today makes that great connection about after they had dealt with an insect that was in their life, a spider, God prompted them to say, what if you were that quick to deal with the things that don't bring me honor and glory? What a great way to think about it. Rather than out of guilt, or maybe inexperience, or ineffectual attitudes toward God, we know we can be quick in dealing with things that aren't meant to be in real life. What if we did the same with our spiritual life? That we wouldn't allow anything to crawl into our lives that wasn't honoring God, let alone build a nest there. We deal as quickly with that as we would with an invading species to our home. God has great potential for you, but sometimes our sin clouds our vision and impede our walk. And God's passion, as the author of this devotional shared, is for us to deal quickly with that and remove it, not for our comfort, but for God's glory, so he could do more and more and more in us. Perhaps God has great potential for you today, but you need to clean some stuff up. Do it quickly. Get it out of there, just like you get a spider out of your bedroom. Because it will keep you from finding true rest and peace in life. Let's live like that today. Let's close with a prayer found in our devotional. Dear Lord, thank you for the gifts of Jesus Christ, your Holy Spirit, and your Word, all of which empower us to overcome sin. In Jesus' name, amen. Thanks again for joining us today. You can find links to theupperroom.org plus these video devotional times on the website that's on the screen in front of you. Plus, there are more interactive features like requesting a prayer request or asking a question. We pray that God blesses you until we meet again.
in the upper room.